the sailor dog born at sea in the teeth of a gale the sailor was a dog scuppers was his name after that he lived on a farm but scuppers born at sea was a sailor and when he grew up he wanted to go to sea so he went to look for something to go in he found a little submarine all aboard they called it was going down under the sea but scuppers did not want to go under the sea he found a little car all aboard they called it was going over the land but scuppers did not want to go over the land scupper was a sailor he wanted to go to sea so scuppers went over the hills and far away until he came to the sea over the hills and far away was the ocean and on the ocean was a ship the ship was about to go over the sea it blew all its whistles all the water they call all the shore that are going ashore all aboard so scuppers went to sea the ship began to move slowly along and the wind blew it in his ship scuppers had a little room in his room scuppers had a hook for his hat and a hook for his rope and a hook for his handkerchief and a hook for his pants and a hook for his spyglass and a place for his shoes and a bunk for a bed to put himself in at night scuppers threw the anchor into the sea and he went down to his little room he put his hat on the hook for his hat and his rope on the hook for his rope and his pants on the hook for his pants and his spyglass on the hook for his spyglass and he put his shoes under the bed and got into his bed which was a bunk and went to sleep oh. next morning he was shipwrecked too big a storm blew out of the sky and the anchor dragged and the ship crashed onto the rocks there was a big hole in it Scuppers himself was washed overboard and hurled by, a, by huge waves onto the shore. He was washed up onto the beach. It was foggy and rainy. There were no houses and Scuppers needed a house. But on the beach was lots and lots of driftwood and he found an old rusty box stuck in the sand. Maybe it was a treasure. It was a treasure to scuppers. It was an old-fashioned toolbox with hammers and nails and an axe and a saw, everything he needed to build himself a house. So scuppers started to build a house all by himself, out of driftwood. He built a door and a window and a roof and a porch and a floor all out of driftwood. And he found some bricks and built a big red chimney. And then he lit a fire and the smoke went up the chimney. Then the stars came out and he was sleepy. So he built a bed of pine branches and he jumped into his deep green bed and went to sleep. As he slept, he dreamt. If he could build a house, he could mend the hole. So the next day, a low tide, he took his tool box and waded out and hammered planks around, across the hole in his ship. At last, the ship was fixed, so he sailed away, until he came to a seaport in a foreign land. By now, his clothes were all worn and ripped and torn and blown to pieces. His coat was torn and his hat was blown away and his shoes were all worn out and his handkerchief was ripped. Only his pants were still good. So he went ashore to buy some clothes at the army and navy store and some fresh oranges. He bought a coat. He, bought, he found a red one too small. He found a blue one just right. It had brass buttons on it. Then he went to buy a hat. He found a purple one too silly. He found a white one just right. 
He needed new shoes. He found some yellow ones too small. And he found some red ones too fancy. And then he found some white ones just right. Here he is with his new hat on and with his new shoes on and with his new coat on with his shiny brass buttons. He has a can of polish and a cloth to keep them shiny. And he has a new clean handkerchief and a new robe and a bushel of oranges. And now Scuppers wants to go back to his sheep. So he goes there. And at night, when the stars came out, he took one last look through his spyglass and went down below to his little room and he hung his new hat on the hook for his hat and he hung his spyglass on the hook for his spyglass and he hung his new coat on the hook for his coat and his new handkerchief on the hook for his handkerchief and his pants on the hook for his pants and his new rope on the hook for his rope and his new shoes he put under his bunk and he him, and himself he put he, he put in his bunk and here he is where he wants to be a sailor sailing the deep green sea. The end.